In this video, let us continue to solve more problems based on trigonometric ratios of multiple and submultiple angles. Alright, in this problem, we've got a question which is like this. It says if tan square theta equals 2 tan square phi plus 1. Phi is just another symbol, so don't worry about it. So if tan square theta equals 2 tan square phi plus 1, prove that cos 2 theta plus sine square phi equals 0. So what we're going to do here is, uh, since cos 2 theta is involved, let us start off with cos 2 theta. The reason we start off with cos 2 theta is uh, cos 2 theta can be written in terms of tan, if you remember that formula. It is 1 minus tan squared theta divided by 1 plus tan squared theta, right? And tan squared theta can be written as 1 minus, you know, tan squared theta is 2 tan squared phi plus 1. So 2 tan squared phi plus 1 divided by 1 plus 2 tan squared phi plus 1. So now opening the brackets, we have 1 minus 2 tan square phi minus 1. So 1 and 1 gets cancelled and we have minus 2 tan square phi divided by, here 1 plus 1 is 2. So we have 2 plus 2 tan square phi, which is nothing but, we're going to write this as minus 2 tan square phi divided by, since 2 is same in both the terms, let's take out the 2, it becomes 1 plus tan square phi, all right? The 2 and 2 gets cancelled, and what we've got left is minus tan square phi divided by 1 plus tan square phi. Now, 1 plus tan square theta is nothing but secant square theta. So, 1 plus tan square phi will be secant square phi, all right? This is nothing but tan square phi minus tan square phi is sine square phi divided by cos square phi, and uh, divided by secant square phi is nothing but 1 by cos square phi, which can be written as sine square phi divided by cos square phi. Of course, there's a negative here, times the reciprocal of the denominator, cos square phi by 1. So cos square phi, cos square phi gets cancelled, and we arrive at minus sine square phi. So what that means is, if you notice carefully, we've started off with cos 2 theta, and that equals minus sine square phi. So cos 2 theta equals minus sine square phi, which is nothing but if you take off minus sine square theta this side, it becomes cos 2 theta plus sine square phi equal to, there's nothing left here, so therefore it's going to be 0. So therefore we proved, you know, the same thing is here. So we proved that if tan square theta equals 2 tan square phi plus 1, cos 2 theta plus sine square phi is definitely 0. All right, so that was another, I'd say, a simple problem, but, you know, kind of a different problem. You know, maybe a three marker or a four marker, I'd say. All you had to uh, remind yourself was, you know, how to start and how to end. That is the focus as far as this problem is concerned. Of course, there was the steps in between and you had to remember the formula and all those things. But only when you had to know that, you know, you have to start off with cos 2 theta is when you actually realize, okay, you need to know some formulas. And in this case, since there is stand involved, you know, since cos 2 theta has almost four formulas, you definitely had to use the tan one, all right? So, well, uh, the same thing that I'd say, practice is going to make you more perfect, all right? So, I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on trigonometric ratios of multiple and submultiple angles. Thank you.